Hi friends, this is Emily Wickham of Proclaiming Him to Women Ministries with a word of encouragement from Jeremiah 1, verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I have appointed you a prophet to the nations. God spoke these words to the prophet Jeremiah thousands of years ago. And it's interesting that Jeremiah immediately uh, resisted what God declared to him. He uh, was not thrilled about this calling that God had placed on his life. He explained to the Lord that uh, he didn't know how to speak, and he talked about how he was a youth. And God just very clearly uh, responded back to him that uh, he would put the words in Jeremiah's mouth, and that's exactly what he did. So I want us to apply this verse to our lives and think for a moment about calling. Uh, what has God called each of us to do in service to him? What has he called us to do that can... Um, expand the kingdom of God? How has he uniquely gifted each one of us for his glory? And I can share a little bit of my story just briefly. Uh, this was a particular verse that God used to call me into the ministry of writing and speaking for him. And throughout the years, uh, he has caused this verse to resurface at times when I've been discouraged about my calling. Uh, this verse will pop up again, and uh, I find it particularly fascinating that he is calling me to go to Nicaragua in the spring of 2017 because this verse says, I have appointed you a prophet to the nations. So it's really quite wild that he's sending me to another country now to share his word and that's a God thing that's something that only he can do so uh, that's exciting for me and uh, the calling that God places on each of our lives should be exciting but honestly sometimes we can be like Jeremiah we can be resistant and we can think of reasons why we're just really not suited for uh, that particular calling but we need to trust God. We need to trust His wisdom and His sovereignty. We need to uh, seek to fulfill the calling in His strength and not our own. We need to be very dependent on Him, recognizing that we can do nothing apart from Christ. And uh, God has to keep reminding me of uh, the fact that, that He's called me to do this for His glory. It's, it's not about me at all. It's all about Him. And even though I uh, feel incapable of, of speaking uh, the most fluently at times, or, or, or I struggle with feeling like maybe I'm just not exciting enough for everybody to listen to, you know, that's really inconsequential. It's about being obedient to what God has called me to do. So that is the case for all of us. Uh, God calls us into areas of service that please Him. And uh, I want to be sure to communicate that my first calling is as a wife and as a mom. That is highly valuable, and it's something I wouldn't trade for anything. It's extremely important, and uh, God is honored when we are the wives that he calls us to be and when we're the moms that he calls us to be. So if that's the place that, that you're in today, I want to encourage you in that. Keep on keeping on for him. Uh, and if there is something in addition to that that he has called you to do, I want to encourage you. Keep taking one step forward after another. And uh, when those times of discouragement come, focus on him and be encouraged by his calling and by uh, the knowledge that this is something that he wants you to do for him. He will take care of the details. He will take care of the results. Our responsibility is to be obedient and to have faith and to do what we do uh, 
uh, for His glory. So I pray that this message encourages you and inspires all of us to roll up our sleeves and to uh, just continue on with whatever calling He has placed in each of our lives. Thanks for watching. This is Emily Wickham with Proclaiming Him to Women Ministries.